it's surreal still. You know, it's not something I've processed yet. Sue Birch is staying with people she just met through a friend about 40 miles south of Lahaina, the Maui town ravaged by wildfires. You know, I look around and it's almost like nothing happened because it's so peaceful and quiet up here right now. But not too many miles away, they're still finding bodies. Birch barely escaped with her own life when high winds fueled the fires last Tuesday her birthday. We got absolutely no warning. She raced to save her cat, Sydney, and a few belongings as the smoke and flames reached her home. We literally had to run into our house, get whatever we could as quick as we could, and drive through sparks and flame and smoke. Birch, a friend, and her cat spent the next couple of days living out of her car. Not everyone made it out. A lot of people that didn't get out and were trapped in their cars with their pets. And a lot of people that I know also jumped in the ocean and floated in the ocean. The fire isn't the only tragedy Birch, who lived in Lancaster for nearly a decade, is dealing with this week. My older brother, he passed on Wednesday the 9th. He was suffering with a with an illness. She plans to fly to Chicago Tuesday for the funeral services. I'm very numb. Eventually, Birch hopes to return to Maui to help with the rebuild and recovery. We would appreciate any help we could get because this town is really hurting. Barbara Barr, News 8.